Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. Before the power button on Mac also became the Touch ID button, you used to be able to press Control, Option, Command and the power button to shut down your Mac. With the introduction of Touch ID, that option disappeared. You can hold down Touch ID for a few seconds, but this will trigger a hard shutdown, causing your apps and the operating system to switch off abruptly without the ability to save anything which isn't ideal. So currently there is no magic keyboard combination to nicely quit all of your apps and shut down your Mac in one go. Luckily, however, you can create your own keyboard combination to replace the one that Apple removed. Start by opening the Settings app and clicking on Keyboard in the menu followed by Keyboard Shortcuts. Choose App Shortcuts and click on the plus button. Leave Applications set to All Applications and in the title menu type the word Shut followed by a space, then the word Down, immediately followed by the ellipsis character. You add an ellipsis by simultaneously pressing the Option and Semicolon keys on your keyboard. Don't mistake this by pressing the period or full stop key three times. I'm pretty sure you must use the actual ellipsis character for this keyboard shortcut to work correctly. Having entered the shutdown command we wish to trigger, now all we have to do is associate it with a key combination. It's important here to use a combination that's not already in use, which pretty much rules out anything using the command key. Instead, I like to use the Option, Control and S keys, which I'm pretty sure are not used by Mac OS or any other app. Click Done and Done again to close the Keyboard Shortcuts window. Now if you open Finder and click on the Mac icon in the menu, you should see your new combination displayed next to the option to shut down. Pressing the combination will bring up the prompt to shut down your Mac and in doing so you'll be prompted to save any changes you've made in each application. So that is how to shut down your Mac using a key combination. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's a quick way to remove unwanted people or objects from your photos and an easy way to share your AirTag with friends and family. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.